Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are making the hitch peg. So we're going to start with create, and we are going to title this hitch peg. And again, throw your initials on there so we know who in team did this. Hit OK. And so the hitch peg is um, a peg, kind of looks like a bolt that's going to go on there. And you might think there's many different ways to do this. Um, there's many different ways to do all of these parts. So if you want to do yours slightly different than mine, you could probably still be successful on this. Here's the way I would do it. So I'm going to hit sketch and I'm going to hit to pick the front view again. And I'm going to draw, where's my line tool? There it is. I don't know why I can't find it. I could also just hit L um, on there. So I'm going to start a vertical line kind of up top. Doesn't really matter how far you're going. I'm going to go down to the origin. I'm going to go to the right slightly. I'm going to go up slightly and I'm going to go to the right. Uh, I'm not going to close this in quite yet. I'm just going to hit escape. All right. So now I'm going to start doing some dimensioning. So I want this vertical line here to be 0.65 inches, and, and if I zoom in, I can get a little better idea here. I want uh, this um, horizontal base to be 0.2, and you might be looking at the directions and say, but ponder, the diameter of the screw or the peg is 0.4, and that's exactly right. So I could say, I'm sorry, it's 0.25, so I could say 0.25 divided by Two. Um, so I can let the computer do some math for me. Um, the height of this, I want to be 0.5. And now I'm, I'm going back to, I'm going to have to click on the end point here and the vertical line there. And the diameter of this is 0.4. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve this peg around. So I'm really only doing a profile of the peg and half of the peg. So if I do 0.4 divided by two, it gets me that, and I have all the dimensions done, but I can't revolve it yet because I need to have a three-point arch by clicking here, by clicking here, and you can kind of see I'm gonna, I, I can, right now it really doesn't matter where I'm gonna put that because I'm gonna grab the dimension tool and I'm going to make that arch. The um, radius of that I want to be 0 0.208. There you go, and it lines right up perfectly with the line. Uh, hit that green checkbox, grab your revolve, click on the profile that you just did, click on the axis you want to revolve around, which is this tall vertical line there, and voila, you have your peg. Now, we're not quite done yet. I'm going to hit this bottom corner because we want to add a chamfer here on the bottom. And this is new for a lot of my students. Go ahead and find where it says chamfer right here. And so we want to click on, we want to change this to distance and angle. We want the distance to be um, 0 0.01 at 45 degrees. I'm going to click that. And you can kind of see it just kind of makes a little angle right there at 45 degrees and then makes a 0 0.01 indention. So it makes the peg slightly easier to fit into the um, hitch magnet. All right, we are almost done with this. All we need to do is right click on your part, go to assign material. Make sure that your material is ABS plastic. Go ahead and click that. Check that box. Um, if you'd like to color it, you are more than welcome to color it now also. Um, you, we're done. Just over four minutes. So good job. And um, let me know if you have any questions.